So if you're brand new to HTML or, or just kind of getting started with maybe some SEO in your website and trying to just kind of enhance that as a front to who you are, what you're offering as a service or, you know, whatever, maybe you're a freelancer. And the key thing you might need to think about is just kind of the first thing that person knows about your website is commonly referred to the title or what's in the title element when they first visit it. So. Obviously, there's the H1 tag. If you're, again, if you're not new to HTML, this might not be so obvious, but the H1 tag is kind of the top level element on your page that dictates what your page is. And commonly, that's a logo or a title of the page itself. So on a blog post, for instance, it's that article name or the title of that article, or maybe it's your website, your agency, or something. It's the title of your agency it would be commonly here. So my website for for instance but the title element is what is shown in your browser and it's kind of both useful for search engines um, the actual web browser itself and just people coming to your website to understand what what page they're on at any given moment because the browser tab in particular kind of is a nice little navigation pattern to dictate or at least tell people where they're at at any given point on the website so maybe we could say a home page or something like that. This isn't um, what I would use as my actual title, but you could do something similar. Uh, let me open this page real quick in my browser just to give you the example how this looks. So this is it in the browser, nothing special, but notice the title tag is what's actually present in the tab of my browser in particular. So what I want to get across is the fact that this should probably be more dynamic as you visit each new page. Um, you want to avoid two word titles in particular. So you could actually do something more descriptive here instead of home page. Maybe you have your website. So in my case, it would be the web crunch. If I can spell, you know, um, commonly that's a pattern you see where there's a separator of some sort and then the actual website that gives some more inclination of what that site is and does sometimes using more descriptive phrases or uh, pairing with a glossary or, or, or uh, reference term is, is a good use of that space uh, you got to consider how long the space is though too wordy and it's garbled and, and uneasy to see but the key thing is to understand that just about first 60 characters or so the google or bing or whatever search engine is going to display of that title when it comes back in a search so you want to or staying within those constraints so text beyond that's going to be lost. So you might not have titles longer than that. If you have to use a title longer than that, make sure the most important part of the title is going to come first as the user who sees it's going to be, you know, clicking and visiting your article or whatever it is, hopefully using keywords in particular, a common trend in the past was to have like an actual keyword. So meta name keywords, and then just have like a comma separated bit of keywords here um i don't know just funny funny words um that would kind of come back in the search engine results google doesn't work that way anymore i think it's more indexing the page itself so it's finding the actual content on the page as opposed to stuff you feed it it kind of makes it more fair for people who kind of hijack that feature and come back in so don't use those in the title either so you don't want to have just like words like web design web development web blah you know just constant like that you kind of want to have more description so people that use the actual website will understand it and not just click a thing that says words you know um, the algorithm would probably frown upon that too it'll scan that see that and not look, really look in favor of your website a really big one to consider is how you use the title in its uniqueness so you don't want to use something that's per page, you know, have the same my website, each page of your site and the title of each page should be different. And that allows Google to index those as different pages and display them accordingly on search engine results. So if you have the same one, it's going to kind of round that up into one, just one link and maybe dump it on page four or something of Google, um, just because it's not as rich of content that it's, it's feeding to it. Now, what you can do that's very useful to the user is updating this to be more dynamic. So a, com a common assistive technology technique is to kind of update your title tag to have, say you're in an e-commerce cart or there's an error on the page or something, the title tag might 
dynamically update. And so you could say something like two errors, your order, and then like wherever you're at. So Chinese food place of some sort. So something like that updates when you have an error on the page, kind of helps with validation and just signifying even from the, the highest level of the page uh, that there is an issue and you, you need to kind of compensate for it. Commonly, you can also do something for accessibility concerns that's based around the menu. When there's screen readers or something like that in the mix, uh, maybe you have vision trouble or someone you know does. Um, navigating the page is going to be helpful for the sense of when you click on something or toggle something, the title updates to know um, and is read aloud or something to that user that it's the menu portion of the page. So maybe you're on the, the menu, it's uh, the Chinese food site or something. And then um, you could just say that this place of it. So food online. I don't know, that's a terrible example, but that's just a, a use case that could kind of make your title still approachable, but also useful in this in the context of accessibility. So you wanna keep those things in mind. So I figured I'd share that. That's basically it for the title tag. All these things, as well as you know, meta tags for descriptions and stuff are very useful for search engine results. So you can have a description and this one's kind of like the title tag, but it's more or less just a longer string giving more inclination of what the actual page is. Maybe an ex it's an excerpt of the first paragraph of a blog post or something kind of introducing the content that helps people who are searching to kind of give, get the first impression out of the way and either decide to visit that page or not. Google likes seeing both the title and description on the pages, so make sure all of them are present on yours. So hope that was helpful. Very introductory stuff here, I know, if you're a previous uh, watcher of my channel or blog. But this stuff is just stuff I pick up along the way. It's stuff you learn from SEO tips and tricks, getting your site noticed or website noticed or your client sites noticed. It's just ways to enhance that as you go. Updating the title tag manually can be done or dynamically, of course, can be done with JavaScript or just however you render your pages. Maybe it's on Rails or something. That can be pretty dynamic per page um, using either a gem or whatever you want to call your titles on your pages. So that's it for now. More to come and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Hello HTML and CSS is my new course on HTML and CSS. It's This is a more comprehensive guide of learning both languages and using them combined to make realistic websites that are professional and useful. Visit hellohtmlcss.com to learn more.